Hi, this is Ahmed Yan Imtiaz from Group 7, B0853, and we will be diving deep into the topic of do submarines need fins? A submarine can be defined as a vessel that can be submerged and emerged from underwater. We can also define submarine as a sandwich which can be made from a long roll, typically filled with meat, cheese and vegetables. Uh, but for the sake of this topic, we will be look looking at the first one, the submarine that can go underwater. Submarine was built in 1620 by the Dutch engineer Cornelius Jacobsoon Drebbel. It is used for underwater research, underwater rescue, and submarine warfare. Submarines, as we know, they need fins to control the direction to sail and also to control the depth in which it can travel in the ocean. To make this possible, they make use of the physics of buoyancy force. This is the tendency to uh, for something to sink or be able to rise at different depths of the ocean. So the reason for our experiment is we were curious about the effects the submarine would have if if uh, the, the particular characteristics needed for the submarine to travel were changed or modified. To me, just me. My name is Stu. My name is Liu Eiji. Student ID is BG0646. I will talk about the identified problem in our project. <laughs> First of all, I will talk about the problem. Problem is something you don't understand, but you can make an experiment to understand it. And the problem also usually based on the observation of scientific phenomena. And our topic is do the summary need things? First of all, most people know what a submarine is and how it looks like, but they never know how the submarine actually works in their real life. <coughs> so, for this reason, we're going to make a, we're going to investigate how the actually the submarine work in the real life, and we prepare some material to build a small submarine and investigate it. And the problem of this project is what is the direction of travel of the submarine with or without fins and how far can the submarine travel with or with and without fins and how long will the submarine reach within a distance in time with and without fins. Uh, I'm Lim Huan Yip. I'll be presenting the observation part. In the first experiment, we'll be testing about what is the direction of travel of the submarine with and without fins. From the experiment, the submarine with fin can move forward in a direction. Meanwhile, the submarine without fin spinning at the same spot without moving to a direction. Second experiment is about how far the submarine travel with and without fin. From the experiment, we can see that the submarine with fin can travel 32 cm. Meanwhile, the submarine without fin can travel 4 cm only. Third experiment is about how long will it take for the submarine to travel to reach a fixed distance with and without fins. From the experiment, we can see that the submarine with fins, it travels the fixed distance within 15 seconds. Meanwhile, the submarine without fins spinning at the starting position and unable to move to the fixed destination. That's all. Hi, Miss and everyone. My name is Siddhi Shihao, and my student ID is B0754. And I be grouped with the Guanquet. So, today I want to present the hypothesis of the experiment. In the hypothesis, got the two important is the independent variable and the dependent variable. So, the independent variable is the fit adapters on the samurai, and the dependent variable is the direction of the samurai. So, in these two environments, we can get the 
question in the this experiment. So the question got the three question in this experiment. The first question is what is the diary of the travel of the samurai with with and without the feet. So you can see the feet is is the control of the samurai. When the feet are very controlled, that it will give the direction of the samurai. So in the petition is the if the samurai with the feet is with travel state in the diary if the, by the way if the samurai is without the feet if we have not the direction so you can see the question two in the slide is how far can the samurai travel with and without the feet the weight is very important that are more alike the apparel wing the function is the samurai can travel so the samurai with the fin can travel more compared to the samurai without fin. So the last question is the how long with the samurai reach in the direction in the time with the with and without the fin. So you can see the greater and the feet are the faster the samurai can travel to the reach in the destination. Samurai with feet can travel faster than the samurai without the feet. So the feet in this experiment is very important for our for our assignment thank you miss this uh this is my presentation so very good afternoon to miss yasmin i'm Ng kwan Ke and my student id is b0660 so today i'm presenting for experiment collect analysis and conclusion so our title is do submarine need fins so first of all let us go through the experiment so in the experiment, what we need to do, usually what we need to do in the first is we have to prepare an experiment procedure. So in our experiment, the first thing we need to do is to build a summary, then fill in the water into the bathtub, and then follow up with the setup camera to record down. Then the fourth one will be the fill in the water into the summary to make sure it's not and make sure it's not fully sink and float because the summary we need to record if is over sync we will never see the submarine works and if it floating a lot it will see the submarine works not, not very well so next thing will be the conduct the experiment based on the three hypothesis we stated so the and the submarine we need we built we use the materials which is two little soda bottle 500 to 7 m 500 ml to 700 ml plastic bottle craft knife drill permanent marker scissors iron wire three or more rubber bands ruler hot glue gun bathtub filled with water so in our first experiment the our hypothesis which we stated is the fins is control the fins is the control of the submarine where the fins are controlled then the then it will give the direction to the submarine so meaning it will control when the submarine is sailing the fins will work as the controlling so and we what we get in our experiment is the submarine is with the fins is easy to move in a direction which is moving forward in our experiment and when it comes to the submarine without a fins it is hard to move in a direction it's a spinning tube that we can know is for the next experiment, the second experiment, the our hypothesis stated that the fins that are more alike to airplanes wings, the wings, the further the submarine can travel. So the submarine with the fins is capable to reach to the end of the distance which we set it. And then the submarine without the fins is not capable to reach the end of the distance because of its spinning tube and is spinning on the same spot without moving. The next one, the third hypothesis is the greater the fins are, the faster the submarine can travel to reach its destination. So our submarine with the fins is able to reach below one minute and the submarine without fins is not able to reach the destination below a minute, which is it will need a lot of time to travel to the destination which we set that. So, the next thing is our collect collecting the analysis and collect collecting and the analysis result. So, result from the first experiment is the submarine fins with, can move with a direction. The the move the direction is forward with the direction the direction is forward. 
I'm sorry, with the fins can move forward with the direction that the propeller, propeller spins correctly. So, and if the propeller spins another way, it will give backward for uh, the backward direction. So without the fins, it will be spinning tube like what I mentioned just now. So it will spin at the same spot without moving to any direction. The next result from uh, experiment 2, is submarine can travel further with fins that probably in our bath, in my house bath tube, which I said the distance is around 32 cm far. So due to the size of bathtub, we, we are not able to test longer distance. And without the fins, the submarine is only able to travel around 4 cm long in the distance because the spinning tube and spinning on the spot, the same spot, but it will move, try to move a bit and a bit. So lastly, for the experiment 3, the result, submarine with the fins travel faster than compared to the submarine without the fins. So with the fins and the 32 cm long, the distance, I mean, it takes 15 seconds to reach the destination from the start and to the end. This is the submarine with the fins. So the next one is the submarine without the fins. It will need more than 60 seconds to travel or probably more than an hour or more, I don't know, because it is a spinning tube and spinning at the same spot. But from the last result what we get, it moves around 4 cm long in the distance. So in conclusion, I can state that the hypothesis we stated are all true after we collect the data from the experiments. So the first one, the submarine do submarine do need the fins to control the direction. Example like the fish, the fish or the sharks, what we know from the news that the sharks in real life they cut the fins they got cut down and they were they all are thrown back to the ocean and make the sharks become the predator to a prey situation. The next one is the submarine need, really needs the fins to move further in distance, such as the being, uh, not being, I mean, I'm sorry, the bird's wings, like uh, sparrow and eagle as the examples. Eagle are capable to travel higher in distance and longer distance. But for sparrow, they cannot fly higher and cannot fly longer in the distance compared to the eagle. So meaning the better the wings or the fins in the submarine, the better the moving in the distance. So the next one is the submarine really do need the fins help to move faster and steady. Such as the airplane as the example. The airplane wings, I mean the airplanes which is the most fastest in the world is Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, which I found on the online source. So, with the difference of the design of the wings, it will help to travel to much more further and faster and steadier. So, that's all for my presentation today. Thank you. My name is Johan Tan, student ID B0670. The topic that I'll talk about today is communicate the results. Submarines need fins to move freely, travel further in distance, and faster in time. In real life, submarines have fins for control. We did this experiment to experience whether submarines need fins to move. This is because we are not capable of experiencing real submarines unless we are in the marines. With experiment done, we get to understand that submarines really need fins to move or survive. It basically acts like a fish that can swim freely, faster, and move further underwater. Without fins, the submarines will become nothing but a spinning tube. In this case, we use the shark as example. Humans are always catching sharks for their fins because of their high monetary and cultural values. This is the cause of extinction of sharks. There are news that state about the fishermen that are catching the sharks to slice down the fins and then throw the sharks back into the ocean. We all know that the sharks without the fins will not survive since they are not capable of swimming anymore, but become the food for other living creatures in the ocean. As a result, we understand how essential fins are needed by the submarines. 
It is used to determine the direction, control the movement freely, and to avoid from any collision of objects or walls. Furthermore, they are required to travel further and deeper in the ocean. They are also used for controlling the speed of the submarine. Thank you.